This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced color techniques in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to use masks and tracking in Premiere to change the color of something in the frame, even if that element moves around during the shot. A mask selects a portion of the frame to which we can then do something. We can remove the selected portion or remove everything in the frame except the selected portion, modify the selected portion or modify everything in the frame except the selected portion. I used to think that masks were both difficult and scary. Actually, a mask simply allows us to select an area. And Premiere has three types of masks, circles and rectangles and freehands, and you've seen me working with them already. Masks can be stationary, not changing in size or position, which is the ones we use to isolate on a particular something white or something gray or skin. Or they can be tracked and automatically moved based upon a video element or keyframed and manually moved based upon reference points in the video. Let me show you how masks work from the purpose of color grading. Here, for instance, I don't like this bright red sign. I want to knock the red back so that people concentrate on the jet, not the red. To do that, let's make this bigger and find our sign here. If I use the opacity setting, I'm going to mask reveal just the sign but not see the rest of the shot. So with this clip selected, I'm going to just tweak the black level just to set a number. That makes the Lumetri color setting appear over here. So now that it's there, I'm going to click the pen tool and draw a rectangle selecting the sign. Done. Now I'm going to take the saturation away. and We've now taken the red out of the sign. I could change the color. I could do all kinds of stuff. But I want to just keep this really simple and show how the track works. Then in Lumetri Color, see these arrows? This says create a track going forward. So I click this. Premiere now looks at that sign and tracks where it moves. And that sign moves all over. This was shot by a cameraman that didn't properly adjust the tension on the camera head. And the sign jerks to the left and jerks to the right and then jerks back again. It's just a mess. And I want to have the Premiere automatically take the color out without me having to do it on a frame by frame basis because life is too short. So how does this work? So let's set this back to fit and watch. Is that cool? Look at how much that camera guy was having serious trouble here. But regardless of where the camera panned, I knocked the color out of that sign. And if I took a little bit more time and feathered it properly, I could make all the red disappear. I'm illustrating tracking. I'm not illustrating what a great mask drawer I am. Isn't that neat? That footage is courtesy of Hallmark Broadcast from an air show. And in England, and I'm grateful for them sharing the footage. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced color techniques in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 311. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.